So picture this. You're all excited because you found this amazing free software that will record your frame rates, anonymize your web activity, and control your smart fridge all at the same time. But then you install it, and all of a sudden, your computer is throwing more pop-ups at you than a whack-a-mole game. And try as you might, you just can't get rid of the bloody thing. You're just about to sledgehammer your entire PC and start over fresh, but then you pause. But what about safe mode? Yeah. What about safe mode? It's your secret weapon. Safe mode can be conveniently accessed if Windows 10 keeps failing to boot or by mashing F8 a bunch of times on older systems at startup and selecting it from the menu that appears. But what exactly does safe mode do? Well, surprisingly, safe mode isn't actually safe in that it enhances your computer's security or anything like that. Rather, safe mode starts your computer with the bare minimum of drivers, services, and background processes that it needs to function. It would be a little bit like firing up your car, but the only things that work are your engine, brakes, gas, and steering wheel. So no AC, no satellite radio, and no romance mode. The idea here is that by only loading the essentials, Windows won't load anything problematic. Nasty, malicious programs are often designed to start as soon as you fire up Windows so that they can immediately begin serving you ads or stealing your data or what have you. So preventing them from being loaded into memory makes them much easier to remove. Safe mode can also be used to fix or delete registry entries that are causing issues, troubleshoot an accidental settings change that's causing you headaches, or change out your drivers if your currently installed version is causing your graphics card or some other piece of hardware to glitch out. Safe mode is also a useful tool if you'd like to run System Restore, giving Windows a shot at getting rid of the offending software or glitch by itself by rolling your PC's configuration back to before the problem cropped up in the first place. In some cases, the features that you'd want to access in Safe mode, like the System Configuration tool, are also available while booted normally. But the difference is that in cases of a very severe infection, for example, safe mode might help to ensure that your system will function for long enough to go in and actually make the necessary changes. Keep in mind, however, that safe mode does have its limitations, and you can't really use it for regular computing if you fail to solve whatever the underlying problem is. Because it only loads basic drivers and services, you'll notice all kinds of weird things, like the fact that your monitor won't run at its native resolution, and that many of your peripherals might not function properly. Also, you can forget about doing any gaming aside from Solitaire or Minesweeper because Safe Mode only loads the default Microsoft Display drivers, not whatever your GPU manufacturer provides. You actually don't even get support for connecting to the internet by default, though you can select safe mode with networking if you need to get online while you're troubleshooting. Furthermore, unfortunately, safe mode isn't a panacea. Some system problems simply cannot be solved by attempting to fix them in safe mode, such as a hopelessly corrupted registry or a particularly nefarious rootkit that's embedded itself deeply into the Windows kernel. And by the way, you can learn more about those little bastards up here. In those cases, your best bet may be to just back up whatever data you can, format your drive, and reinstall Windows. Nonetheless, safe mode is a very useful escape hatch if your PC has more bugs than the local hourly rate hotel, so keep it in mind next time it refuses to boot. And as always, practice safe PC tinkering. Speaking of tinkering, FreshBooks is for entrepreneurs and the self-employed who don't want to tinker around with complicated accounting software. It's a super simple to use invoicing tool that does way more than just help you create and send slick looking invoices. It allows you to track your time with their timesheet function, manage your expenses, and keep track of who owes you what. It also has a feature that tells you when your clients look at your invoice for the first time. And this is cool, the mobile app has all the functionality of the desktop version, so you can take FreshBooks with you wherever you go. If you have any questions about FreshBooks, feel free to reach out to their support staff where you will speak to a real human being. No phone tree, no escalations, no return calls, just answers. So go visit freshbooks.com slash techquickie and enter techquickie in the how did you hear about us section when you sign up for your free trial. 
So thanks for watching, guys. Like, dislike, check out our other videos. Leave a comment if you have suggestions for future Fast as Possible videos. And don't forget to subscribe so you can see that video. Because like, it's probably going to be that video. We are fresh. We are fresh out of ideas. Tech, it's just like it's stagnant. There's never anything new happening that we can cover on TechWiki. I'm just kidding. Of course there are. It's always new. It's like what it is.